Warning systems are part of our everyday lives. They let us know when we need to proceed with caution or when we need to take action to avoid negative consequences. An early warning system for student success works much the same way. A well-implemented early warning system, or EWS, can help educators and others identify students at risk of dropping out and assign and monitor interventions to keep them on track for graduation. This video, part of the Regional Educational Laboratory or RHEL program's learning series on EWS implementation, is brought to you by RHEL Appalachia, which supports educators' use of data and research to improve student outcomes in Kentucky, Tennessee, Virginia, and West Virginia. This video describes the elements of an EWS data visualization, which is a way of turning raw data into images to help us understand data patterns and relationships at a glance. States and school districts have access to large amounts of student data to help students stay on track for graduation. The three data indicators that are often used to identify students at risk of dropping out are attendance, behavior, and course completion. These indicators are sometimes referred to as the ABCs of student dropout. But knowing what the data are telling you and what to do about it is not always clear. This is where data visualization tools are helpful. Data visualization can be based on qualitative or quantitative data. Qualitative data may include student characteristics such as gender or English learner status. Quantitative data may include information such as test scores or days absent from school. There are many visualization options for quantitative data, such as bar charts, time series, scatter plots, choroplats, another name for data-coded maps. Choosing the right visualization for the job is an important step. To create a visualization, consider the visual display that best tells the story in the data. Make sure the data are readable and support exploration, examination, and communication. Here are a few pointers for designing a data visualization that is easy to understand. The visualization is simple and doesn't have multiple colors or design elements. It's clearly labeled. The visualization starts at zero and reports total numbers. The reference lines are light and in the background. It has the takeaway summary at the top. The visualization should represent the raw data. Our eyes and brains are well attuned to recognize patterns. So visualizing data can help us see what's going on and take action. The strength of an early warning system is in its simplicity, usability, and accessibility. Success is when a teacher can understand the data, analyze the data, and provide solutions to support at-risk students with both school-wide strategies and targeted interventions. Data visualizations can help ensure that the EWS is used to achieve this success. If you want to learn more about EWS or data visualization, check out the Institute of Education Sciences series on EWS or visit relappalachia.org.